The financial sector is shrinking. Well, at least it is in the UK. Blame regulators if you like, but low-cost entrants deserve the credit too, coming in and offering the same service at lower cost, such as challenger banks stealing market share from the incumbents or passive investing replacing the expensive active sort. Now, this shrinkage could even be a reason to cheer. There's nothing to celebrate in a sector that commands a fat slice of GDP. After all, this is a charge on the rest of the economy. Economic growth is meant to be about doing more with less. Sectors that don't shrink are either doing much more over time or more likely failing to innovate and cut costs. The IT sector sits in the first category, having grown steadily since 1990. Since then, it has created new consumer demands we had not even thought we had. 25 years ago, no one knew they needed to tweet anyone or have facts on the fingertips on the mobile phone or use the same device to ping furious birds at imaginary green pigs. Grit your teeth and admit that this is real innovation. Finance, on the other hand, uses innovation in part to dress up the same old service in new clothes. Underneath all the flim-flam, people still want the same old things. Access to cash, a place for their savings and companies with access to investment funds. What technological advantages there have been ought to have made finance cheaper to arrange, not more remunerative. There used to be millions of clerks in London adding up payments on paper ledgers. Computers do this much more cheaply. So the real question is why finance has not shrunk much more. One answer is that it will, and the trends of recent years are only the beginning. Maybe it faces the same disruption that has hit industries like airlines over the years. But more likely, the shrinkage will stop soon. Ultimately, the financial sector is a giant engine for the ownership of assets. These assets grow steadily with the underlying economy. Indeed, look at the chart for funds managed in the UK and you can see that they outpace economic growth. The slice the financial sector takes will eventually keep pace too. Call this parasitical if you like, but beyond a certain point, finance is unlikely to shrink anymore.